used any. <laughs> Now, a school in Suffolk has become the first to introduce a special programme to help pupils who might be at risk of anorexia. The course at Framlingham College is being taught by a woman who herself used to have the condition. Last year, the number of young people who were admitted to hospital with the condition went up by 12%. Part of the problem is that many people with anorexia are very secretive, which means it can go undetected for years. I suppose one of the best things you can do is call on your peers around you to say, Am I the only one that spotted this? And it's Debbie Watson knows how much damage an eating disorder can cause. She suffered from anorexia for 20 years. Sometimes people may be over-exercising, so it's not just about food consumption. And now she's on a mission to raise awareness and prevent others from becoming ill. She founded Wednesday's Child, a not-for-profit company that's just started a project providing specialist support to schools. Framlingham College is the first to sign up. We know that some people are waiting up to 41 months to get treatment for an eating disorder. That's way too long. That's just, you know, leaving it that long risks the life of a child. Key to the project is early intervention. By recognising the signs and removing the stigma and secrecy surrounding eating disorders. The school's nursing team are among the first to receive training on how best to handle pupils who might be at risk. I think everybody is, as well as nurses, worried about you saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing. Um, so it's given us that confidence that how to manage children if um, they do come to us with any issues around eating disorders. Um, and we can refer them to Debbie and uh, she can help. She writes amazing assessments so that she gives us an update on how to proceed further. In the kitchens, catering staff are also now more aware of flagging up potential concerns. It's spotting those signs at an early stage and then talking to Debbie, um, flagging those up so we can maybe um, tackle any potential issues at an early, early stage. They need to feel that they're being heard, the boys and girls, and they need somebody alongside them who understands what they're going through. The programme provides therapy for pupils, nutrition advice and support for their families. I think this has been going under the radar in lots of schools in society for a long time and what I want is to be able to open this up and make it a pathway that they're all aware of so then if they need to come and talk to us about it they will and I think that once parents, you know, when the message is out there gently that we have this pathway of support then hopefully it might tease some out that may have been suffering quietly without telling us. Wednesday's Child wants to extend the project to other schools. The hope is that by involving everyone, the warning signs of eating disorders can be spotted much earlier on. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East, Framlingham.